Young scientists, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry that a previous engagement prevents me from coming to Prague to meet you in person and learn about your research projects firsthand. But I'm delighted to have the chance to welcome you to the 25th European Union Contest for Young Scientists. I don't need to tell you that science and technology are everywhere. They affect almost every aspect of our lives and they are the keys to solving big problems like climate change, clean energy and transport and secure supplies of food. In short, they're a big part of a healthy economy and a happy society. And in today's economic climate, it is more important than ever that young people like you have the skills to be successful. Science, maths and technology help you understand our world, contribute to a better society and prepare for rewarding careers. Who knows, for example, what industries and jobs will arise from nanotech, biotechnology, 3D printing or climate change? Futurologists tell us that jobs that don't yet exist could soon become mainstream professions. Jobs like memory augmentation surgeons, artificial intelligence programmers, augmented reality architects, body part makers, nano doctors and urban vertical farmers. Not all of these will come true, of course, but the science you are doing now will lead you to exciting work and help you to face the challenges and opportunities of a fast-changing world. The future is an open book and you are the young people who will write the story. 100 years ago, nobody could have predicted the impact of Marie Skłodowska Curie's discovery of radium. So we can only guess at the impact and spin-offs from recent discoveries, like that of the Higgs boson by scientists at CERN. We're counting on you for the next big discoveries and the next big ideas. That's why the European Commission is very proud to support the European Union contest for young scientists every year. This contest is about acknowledging your curiosity and creativity. It is about encouraging your talents and recognising your bright ideas in a wide range of fields, whether biology, chemistry or physics, computing or engineering, environmental science, mathematics, medicine or social sciences. As winners of national science competitions, you have already had great success. You are already excellent ambassadors for your schools and colleges. But that's just the beginning. I hope that you will continue your studies in science and technology. I've no doubt that the seeds of many illustrious careers are being sown right here today. In fact, many previous winners of the contest have gone on to prestigious positions in major research facilities such as the European Space Agency and CERN. A big international event like this takes a lot of effort, so I would like to thank the organisers for all their hard work bringing together 85 projects from 37 different countries. Speaking of which, I'm pleased to see that many young scientists from outside Europe are also participating in the International Prize. Excellent ideas and excellent science should know no borders. I'm also pleased to hear that over a third of you are girls. A scientist is a scientist, whether a man or a woman. So I hope that the boys, as well as the girls, will check out the Science It's a Girl thing stand in the exhibition area. Finally, I'd like to thank you, our young scientists, for coming to Prague. Congratulations on making it here and on having this opportunity to present your projects to the jury and just as importantly to your peers and future collaborators. You are all winners in my book. The best of luck to all of you and have a wonderful time in Prague.